Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on the Hoover Candy Made washer dryers and other related brands you can see in the screen here. E21 is a fault with an NTC sensor, but there is also a fault with one of the wires that go to the NTC sensor. I will show you how to diagnose the fault, but let me first show you how to identify the error code. The lights on the left hand side will be flashing, and between the space it will flash 11 times as you can see here if you have an LCD model it will actually be showing you an error 11 on the screen but let's get on with the repair first thing you need to do is unplug the machine from the electricity supply and we need to remove the lid on this repair there are three bolts at the back they're normally 7mm and sometimes they can be screws depending on the model of your machine so the lid comes back and then just slightly up and it comes away. And at the front on the washer dryer you can see two thermostats on the side there and there is a sensor on the front. This is an NTC sensor and as you can see with this model of the machine the wire has broken. This is a common problem on these machines but rather than just doing a quick fix and it will occur again I'm going to show you how to test the NTC sensor first just in case the wires aren't broken and then we're going to cut the wiring back and replace the whole piece of wiring. The reason why it breaks is either the wire is too brittle or you have metal fatigue taking place in the wire because it's too short. Now we're going to test this NTC sensor or thermistor as they're sometimes called. We're roughly at about 18 degrees and as you can see we have a reading of about 5,000. Uh, as we heat the NTC sensor the resistance level will drop. And as you can see it's dropping here. Now once it's got down to its settled temperature and it starts cooling down again back to room temperature of 18 degrees you will see the temperature rising again. Here it goes and it starts to rise and it will settle back at about 5400. This gives us an idea that the NTC sensor is working correctly but unless we know the tolerance level of the NTC sensor we cannot be precise and as the manufacturers don't always give us this information I can't give you the values. But we do know the problem with this NTC sensor was a broken wire and this is why it was giving you an E21 error code. While I'm fitting this NTC sensor back into place let me explain why I'm cutting the wiring back. So many people just put a new spade terminal onto the wire and connect it back up but the fault will reoccur. Because you have load of washing in the machine the suspension level goes down the, ma the machine itself might have imbalanced loads on occasion and be shaking from side to side and therefore it causes metal fatigue in the wiring. The wire becomes brittle and then breaks. So what we're doing is cutting the wiring back to the control panel and we're going to solder a new piece of wire on which hasn't had any metal fatigue and should last for quite a few years. I solder them rather than crimp them so you get a good reading to the control board. If you just crimp and the crimp is not good therefore you will get a false reading. So we're going to do both wires and we've put some heat shrink on top of the solder here. Heat shrink you can pick up at any normal hardware store or electrical, good electrical wholesaler. And once the heat shrinks on, we're just going to heat it up and that will shrink the plastic onto the solder and make a good insulation. Now we'll connect up the NTC sensor and test the machine again. But first I'm just going to put a cable tie through a harness there just to hold the wiring neatly so it's not pulling on the solder. And I've extended the wires by about three or four centimetres longer than the manufacturer gave in the first place. And this should allow for shock absorbers being weak or imbalanced loads. As you can see, not much stretch on the wiring there. Okay, so let's test the machine. 
Now we plug the machine in, turn it to a wash program. As you can see, the flashing light has now disappeared. We'll press start, door lock is engaged, and it will now start filling with water, and off you go. There you go, the error's fixed. Do remember we have full tutorials on NTC sensors and other repair videos at the website. And if this video helped you, you can always remember to buy us a beer. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. And please remember to shop at How to Repair and also subscribe to our channel. All the links you can see around this video will take you through to the tutorial part of the website where you can get other tutorials on your appliance.